Mwoni mwake Mwenyezi Mungu. Bwana sifiwe. Um today is a great day. This month we are going to know what. The topic of kusu, holiness and the name of holiness. Utakatifu. Mwambie jirani utakatifu. Praise the Lord. Now we, this is now part two, what? Part three. Hii ni sehemu yetu ya tatu. So if you missed our part one, kama ukoweza kujionea sehemu ya kwanza. If you missed our part two, kama ukoweza kujionea sehemu ya kwanza. If you miss our uh, please connect to our YouTube page. Na kuomba ujiunge na tovuti yetu ya YouTube. Or our Facebook page and you'll be able to understand praise the lord na utaweza kuelewa zaidi hallelujah hallelujah so we truly bless the lord tunamshukuru mungu kindly if you miss out please connect kama ujaweza kujionea endo ukajiunge nasi connect so that we can be able to be together jiunge nasi ili tuweze kufanya now i want us to go uh, directly to the word i want us to read twende moja kwa moja kwenye maandiko ningependa tusome mistari and i want us to go to Kaza. Ephesians chapter Tuanzie kitabu cha Waefeso 4:20 hadi 24. Ephesians 4. Waefeso 4 verse 20 verse 20 to 24. Mstari wa 20 hadi 24. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And it says what? But you have not so learned Christ. You have not so done what? Learned Christ. If indeed you have you have him and have been taught by him as the truth is in as the truth is in So if you have your Bible please underline that part as the truth is in Jesus verse 22 that you put off concerning your former conduct Hallelujah you put off concerning your former conduct the old man which grows corrupt according to the deceitful lust praise the Lord that you do what you put it off and be renewed and be renewed in the spirit of your mind hallelujah and be renewed in the spirit of your mind and that you put on the new man which was created according to god in true righteousness and holiness praise the lord bwana sifiwe and as also to read colossians chapter 3 Tusome kitabu cha Wakolosai mlango wa 3 verse 12 to 15. Tuanzie mstari wa 12 hadi 15. And we'll read from verse of uh, 12 to 15. Say mstari wa 12. Therefore, as the elect of God, holy and beloved. Praise the Lord. As the elect of God, holy and beloved. Put on tender mercy, kindness, humility, meekness, long suffering. Verse 12 13 bearing with one another and forgiving one another if anyone has a complaint against another even as Christ forgave you so you also must do verse 14 above all these things put on love which is the bond of perfection and let the peace of God rule in your hearts to which you also were called in one body and be thankful praise the lord hallelujah And as we read one more text then we'll be able so to So mstari mwingine mmoja kisha tuweze kusoma mbele. And uh, we'll read verse 1 to 8. Kitabu cha Isaiah 6. It says in the year that King Uzziah died I saw the Lord sitting on the throne high and lifted up and the train of his robe filled the temple and the Bible says what above it stood seraphim each had one each had six wings with two he covered his face and with two he covered his feet and with two he flew verse 3 says And one cried to another and said holy 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 is the Lord God of hosts the whole earth is full of his glory and the post of the doors was shaken by the voice of him who cried out and the house was filled with smoke and i said woe is me for i am undone behold i am a man of unclean lips and i dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips for my lips have seen the king the lord of hosts Then one of the seraphim flew to him having in his hand a live coal which he had taken with the tongs from the altar and he touched my mouth with it and said behold this has touched your lips your iniquity is taken away and your sin purged and also i heard the voice of the lord saying whom shall i send who will go for us then i said here i am send me praise the lord bwana sifiwe now I have for those who if you miss part 1 and 2 I'm not I'm not to take take us back there. Kama ukuweza kujionea sehemu yetu ya kwanza na kwanza siezi enda mahali pale. 
lakini kuna jambo moja we said uh, when we did part 1 of the topic on when we talk about kodesh jambo moja ambalo tulilisema kuhusu neno kodesh god has, has, has set you apart tunaposema kodesh ni kwamba mungu amekutenga is sacred use kwa ajili ya kazi yake ya kiungo au kwa sababu ya kusudi yake bwana asifiwe he has set you apart for his purpose bwana amekutenda kwa ajili ya kusudi yake praise the lord bwana asifiwe now holiness is not something that you can work out sio kitu ambacho unaweza kukifanya praise the lord bwana asifiwe ambe neighbor neighbor mwambie jirani jirani you don't work with holiness mwambie haufanyi kazi ya utakatifu it is your nature ni hali yako praise the lord When God made man in his own in his own image and, and likeness. Mungu alipomuumba mwanadamu kwa sura na He made man to have the unique nature of God of holiness. Alimfanya mwanadamu awe na asili ya utakatifu. That be holy for Akasema, I kuwa holy. utakatifu kwa maana mimi ni mtakatifu. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. Be holy for I am holy. mtakatifu kwa ajili mimi ni mtakatifu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now let me tell you today. Naomba kuambia kitu kimoja siku ya leo. You cannot until you acquire your, your nature hadi utakapopata asili yako rasmi the unique nature that god has made you to be asili yako ya kipekee ambayo mungu amekuumbia wewe you will struggle with holiness hautaweza kuwa mtakatifu you will struggle utasumbuka praise the lord you know some of us we are, we are trying everything we can eh wengine wetu tumejaribu kila kitu umejaribu kujingarisha ili uweze kukaa mtakatifu unavalia mavazi nathifu It is the nature that God made you to be. Ni asili ambayo Mungu alikuumba ukawe. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. He made you in that nature. Alikuumba kwa asili hiyo. No wonder I said in Romans chapter 14. Ndipo anasema kwa katika kitabu cha Warumi 14 that when you have put on Christ. Ya kwamba utakapovalia vazi la Kristo. What is that then we are making no provision for the flesh. Anasema kwamba hatuachi nafasi yoyote ya mwili kutimiza tamaa zake. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. No provision for what? for the flesh atupi mwili nafasi to fulfill its last kwa kutimiza tamaa zake hallelujah hallelujah praise the lord bwana asifiwe praise the lord bwana asifiwe so i want us to understand today ningeomba tuelewe siku ya leo that god expects of us to be holy because that is the nature he has made us to be ya kwamba mungu anatutarajia tu watakatifu kwa maana hiyo ndio asili aliyotuumba nayo and uh, last week remember i talked about conscience juma pili iliyopita niliongea kuhusu dhamiri Let me see the good students. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Talk about the conscience, amen. Tulizungumza kuhusu dhamiri. And we said na tukasema that until the truth of the word of God hadi ukweli wa neno lake Mwenyezi Mungu comes upon your conscience utakapokuja juu ya dhamiri yako. That is when hapo ndipo you will be able to have the, 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 the ability to choose between what is right and what is wrong utakapopata uwezo wa kuchagua chema na cha uovu bwana asifiwe praise the lord bwana asifiwe now today i want us to go a bit and not different siku ya siku ya leo tupande katika kiwango kingine and i understand this na tuelewe hivi that god has made us ya kwamba mungu ametuumba all in his nature tukiwa watakatifu kwa asili yake verse 24 msari wa 24 verse 24 of uh, of of hebrews 4 kitabu cha Waibrania 4 we are told tunaambiwa that we put on the new man tuvalie mtu wetu mpya put on the new man tuvalie utu wetu mpya hallelujah wa hallelujah and then colossians 3:12 tells us katika kitabu cha Wakolosai 3:12 tunaambiwa kwamba mtu huyu mpya ni yupi he says that this new man tunaambiwa mtu huyu mpya is elected of god ni yule aliyechaguliwa naye mwenyezi this Mungu this new man mtu huyu mpya is holy ni mtakatifu. This new man mtu huyu mpya is beloved. Anapendwa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So you know you you can try you can try to work out holiness. Unaweza jaribu kuwa mtakatifu. Uinue mkono useme Mungu nimeshindwa. But when you get to, to get the understanding unapopata ufunuo that by Jesus Christ dying for us at the cross kwamba kupitia kazi ya Kristo msalabani that was the perfect sacrifice hiyo ndio ilikuwa sadaka iliyokuwa imemalizika iliyotutakasa na kutufanya tuwe watakatifu that's what i said put on anasema, christ ukavae vazi la kristo put on christ ukavae vazi la kristo praise the lord ha, bwana asifiwe now this truth must get into your heart huu ukweli huu unapaswa kuingia moyoni mwako. Now the moment someone gets born again. Wakati ambapo mtu anawakoka. When they receive Christ Jesus. Anapompokea Kristo Yesu. What happens? Kile ambacho kinafanyika ni kipi? The Holy Spirit. Roho Mtakatifu. Comes upon them. Anakuja juu ya mtu huyo. As a seal. Kama muhuri. As of the what? 
the seal. Kama mhuri rasmi. Ephesians should be Ephesians 1:13. Wa Efeso 1:13. Praise the Lord. Should be Ephesians 1:13. The Holy Spirit comes upon you. Roho mtakatifu anakuja juu yako kama mhuri. Kama hakikisho. That you have received the new man. Ya kwamba umepokea utu upya. In him you have trusted after you had the word of truth the gospel of salvation in whom you have done what? You have believed and you are sealed with who? The promise the with the Holy Spirit of promise. Praise the Lord. So if you are trying to act holiness, kama unajaribu kuigiza utakatifu utasimbuka sana. Please hear me today. Believe amini that what Christ Jesus did at the cross. Kwamba kile ambacho Kristo alikifanya msalabani made you in his unique nature. Alikuumba kwa asili yake. Unapompokea Kristo Yesu, you are become a new man. Unakuwa mtu mpya. Praise the Lord. Bwana sifiwe. So don't try to work it out. Usijaribu kujifanya. Believe in the truth. Amini ukweli. That what has happened at the cross. Kwamba kile ambacho kilifanyika msalabani. Has set you free. Kimekuweka huru. Praise the Lord. Bwana sifiwe. Now hear me carefully. Naomba unisikize kwa makini. Now the moment you have believed in what Christ did at the cross. Unapoamini kazi ya Kristo msalabani. Your thoughts. Mawazo yako. Your words. Maneno yako. And your actions. Na matendo yako. Will start yanaanza kuingiliana na yule ambaye umemwamini ambaye asili yake ni utakatifu Bwana asifiwe So you are, you have is to believe Lako ni kuamini What Christ has done at the cross Kazi ya Kristo msalabani He made you holy Alikufanya uwe mtakatifu So your nature is holy Basi asili yako ni utakatifu Praise the Lord. Bwana sifiwe. But you must believe in what was done. Lakini ni sharti uamini kile amesema kwa neno lake. And because the spirit of God was sealed with you. Kwa sababu Roho Mtakatifu aliweka mhuri kwako. He becomes the guide. Anakuwa yeye ndiye kiongozi. That helps you to know how to walk holy. Anayekuonyesha jinsi ya kutembea ndani ya utakatifu. So, once you believe, basi utakapoamini in that which Christ did at the cross. Ndani ya kazi ya Kristo msalabani. Then your thoughts, mawazo yako your words maneno yako and your actions na matendo yako will be in the nature yatakuwa katika asili that god made you ambayo mungu amekuumba nayo praise the lord bwana asifiwe he made you holy alikufanya mtakatifu he has called you holy amekuita mtakatifu praise the lord bwana asifiwe and i want to encourage you today Ningependa kukutia moyo. Kama umesumbuka sana na utakatifu. Siku ya leo kuna matumaini. Haleluya. Siku ya leo kuna matumaini. Even if you have struggled with holiness. Ingawaje umesumbuka na utakatifu. Siku ya leo kuna matumaini. It is not because of what you have worked out. Sio kwa sababu ya kile ambacho umeweza kujitenda mwenyewe. Lakini kile ambacho Yesu alikifanya msalabani. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. It's what Christ Jesus worked out. Kile ambacho Yesu Kristo alikifanya msalabani. Now the Bible tells us Biblia inatuambia that when Uzziah died wakati mfalme Uzziah aliaga dunia. We are told Isaiah did what? Isaiah alifanya nini? So the Lord. Alimuona. So what was in Uzziah? Basi mfalme Uzziah alikuwa nani? We only Do you know that King Uzziah was actually good a good king for some years? Je, unajua mfalme Uzziah alikuwa mfalme mwema mno kwa miaka kadhaa kadhaa? The Lord. But he was a good king. Alikuwa mfalme mwema. He was good for some alikuwa years. Alikuwa mwema kwa miaka kadhaa. Hata wewe unajua kuna miaka ulikuwa unatembea vizuri na Yesu. Si, 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 si that happens. Kuna miaka ulikuwa unatembea vizuri na Yesu. Then ikafika mahali you started struggling with, with, with issues of sin. Ukaanza kusumbuka na shida za dhambi. Today there is hope. Siku ya leo kuna matumaini. Praise the Lord. Bwana Today there is hope. Siku ya leo kuna matumaini. Because you are not working it out. Kwa sababu wewe hauifanyi mwenyewe. Christ already worked it out for you. Kwa sababu Kristo alikushughulikia wewe. Praise the Lord. He worked it out for you. Alikushughulikia wewe. Please hear me carefully today. Because what one of the things that the devil is doing is condemning God's children. Kitu moja ambayo shetani anafanya ni kwamba anawakemea watoto wake mwenyewe. So you come to church you feel condemned. Unakuja kanisani na unahisi kuhukumiwa. That's a lie of the devil. Huo ni uongo wa shetani. Praise the Lord. Bwana You are not condemned. Haujakemewa. But you must take your place. Lakini ni sharti uchukue nafasi yako. You must take your place. Uchukue nafasi yako. The nature asili of holiness ya utakatifu. So we are told King Uzziah died. Tunaomba mfalme Uzziah aliaga dunia. 
By the time King Uzziah was dying, wakati mfalme Uzziah alikuwa akiaga dunia. Just some brief some some synopsis. Niwape hadithi kwa ufupi. Before he was a good king and God really gave him a lot of victory. Na Mungu alimpa ushindi mwingi. Should be in a second chronicles here. Hapa ni kitabu cha 16. Yeah. Now, the Bible tells us that Bibili he was a, a very good king. Alikuwa mfalme mwema. Amen. He was a very good king. Alikuwa mfalme mwema. But one day lakini siku moja he decided akaamua to take the place of the priest kuchukua nafasi ya kuhani to go and burn incense ili aweze kuchoma ubani do you know some of the sins you are struggling with is je unajua shida ambazo unazunguka nazo ni kwamba ulipoteza you mipaka ulienda zaidi ya mpaka God wako Mungu amekuweka humu duniani with some boundaries katika mipaka you have gone off the boundaries lakini umetoka nje ya mipaka yake Mwenyezi Mungu Have you ever asked yourself where was Adam when the devil was tempting Eve? Umoe kujiuliza Adamu alikuwa wapi wakati Hawa alikuwa anaweka kwenye majaribu majaribu na shetani. Kuna yule ambaye alitoka nje ya mipaka. Shida zingine za utakatifu ambazo tunasumbuka nazo ni kwa sababu tumetoka nje ya mipaka yetu. If you are born again, kama umeokoka, live like a Christian. Uishi kama mtu ambaye ni Mkristo. If you are born again, kama umeokoka, live like someone who knows God. Uishi kama mtu anayemjua Mwenyezi Mungu. So when we go off our boundaries tunapotoka nje ya mipaka yetu dhambi inaingia na tunaanza kusumbuka na utakatifu kujaribu kutembea watakatifu utakatifu kwa sababu tumetoka nje ya mipaka praise the lord bwana asifiwe hallelujah hallelujah but i know this topic you not hear many amen najua mada hii haina amina nyingi i told you at the start of the month the lord told me to teach on holiness bwana alinifunza aliniambia nikafunze kuhusu utakatifu na lazima nimtii mwenyezi mungu praise the lord bwana asifiwe when we get out of the boundaries tunapotoka nje ya mipaka are there times that you have found yourself off the boundaries je kuna nyakati ambazo unatipata umetoka nje ya mipaka And then you found yourself struggling. Kisha unajipata uko unasumbuka. The king was a king. Mfalme alikuwa mfalme. But he went to do the job of a priest. Lakini alienda kufanya kazi ya kuhani. Though his intention was right. Ingawaje mipango yake ilikuwa miema. Moyo wake ulikuwa umekosea kwa sababu The Lord had placed him as a king. Mungu alikuwa amemweka kama mfalme sio kama kuhani. So when you get off your boundary. Unapotoka nje ya mipaka yako. Mungu amekuita kama mwimbaji, Mungu amekuita kama mhubiri. Kaa ndani ya mipaka yake Mwenyezi Mungu. Mungu amekuita kama mtu alio alioa au mwanamke alioelewa. Baki ndani ya mipaka ya Mungu ndani ya ndoa. Ambia neba neba tamani mbaya. Tamani mbaya. Sasa wewe 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 umeoa. Sasa unatafutia nini bibi ya jirani? Unatafutia nini bibi ya mtu mwingine? Unatafutia nini bwana ya mtu mwingine? Haya. You know I told you Iman we are talking we are going to say everything. Mwezi huu tutasema mambo yote. Because the church of Jesus Christ must come back to its original nature. Kwa sababu kanisa la Yesu Kristo linapaswa kuja katika asili ya Mungu. Praise the Lord. If you are a young man, kama wewe ni kijana, live like a young man. Basi uishi kama kijana. Bwana asifiwe. Live like a what? Uishi kama ni kama kijana barubaru. Sasa you find two young people are courting. Unawapata vijana wawili wako katika uhusiano. Na ndio wanapendana, si ndio wanataka waone. Lakini vile wanaishi saa hizi, wanaishi ni kama watu wameoana. Sasa question is, wakioana wataishi aje? Wakiwa single, they want to live like what? Like the married. Now when they are married what will they do? No okay, wana watafanya nini? Ndiposa kuna shida ya kutoka nje ya ndoa. You didn't wait for the right boundaries. You moved mpaka. out of the boundaries that God has placed. Ambao Mungu ameweka. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. Kama mimi mnatumbiana, bwana asifiwe sana. My keyboard is. Hata wewe utaoa, si ndio? Eh, lakini mnakaa kama people people who are holy in God's presence kama watu walio watakatifu katika uwepo wake Mwenyezi Mungu. Sasa wewe ndio huyo. My sister, come we pray, come we pray, yes. Skati ndio huyo hapa. Hapa ionekani hata kuja juu kama kuna nguo juu. Huyu jamaa anaomba aombi. Anaomba wanafunga macho anafungua macho anaangalia. Hiyo you keep boundaries. Praise the Lord. Aiambia neba neba keep boundaries. Wake up mipaka. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. 
is. Tuweke mipaka. Unajua lazima people of God, hii ni ukweli na tusaidiane leo. Amen. Amina. Me as a preacher, I must keep boundaries. Mimi kama mchungaji ninapaswa kuweka mipaka. Praise the Lord. Bwana sifiwe. Hata ja, mimi it, it, it applies to me. I must do what? Keep boundaries. Pia mimi ninapaswa kuweka mipaka. Keep boundaries. Pia nawe ukaweke mipaka. So if you are single live like a single man. Kama wewe ni mtu ambaye hajao, uishi kama mtu ambaye hajao. Kama wewe ni binti ambaye hajaolewa, uishi kama hujaolewa. Wapi? Ndani ya Kristo. If you are married. Kama umeoa. Live like a married man or a married woman. Uishi kama yule ambaye ameoa ama kuolewa. Ambia neba chana tamaa. Chana na tamaa. Praise the Lord. Bwana sifiwe. Because you know Uzaya Mfalme Uzia was a good man. Alikuwa mtu mwema. But let me tell people of God. Lakini naomba kuambia watu wa Mungu ya kwamba haijalishi ilianzisha vipi ni jinsi utakavyokamilisha. So usiweza na mna moto and then unamaliza vibaya. This man died of leprosy. Mtu huyo alikufa kwa ukomo. That until this man died. Na hadi hadi wakati alipokufa. Isaiah could see God. Ndipo Isaiah aliweza kumwona Mungu. Kuna dhambi ambazo tunazifanya katika maisha yetu ambazo zinashikilia familia zetu zisisonge mbele ambazo zinashika maisha yetu yasisonge mbele Kuna dhambi ambazo tunazifanya kwa maisha yetu ambazo zinamshikilia Mwenyezi Mungu asije kukubariki wewe Nabii Isaiah ilibidi amuone Mungu wakati Uzaya alipokufa Basi ukoma huu ni upi katika maisha yako Because people want to see God. Kwa sababu watu wanataka kumuona Mwenyezi Mungu. Bwana sifiwe. Want to see God. Amen. Want to see kumuona Mwenyezi Mungu. Hallelujah. So it, it this man had to die. Mtu huyu ilimlazimu oh, afe. Ili Isaiah aweze kumuona Mwenyezi Mungu. Na alipomuona Mungu. Verse 3 tells us. Mstari wa 3 tunatuambia. Holy. Mtakatifu. Holy. Mtakatifu. Holy. Mtakatifu. Is the Lord God of armies. Ndiye Bwana Mungu. Wa majeshi. Ndiye Bwana Mungu wa majeshi. Haleluya. 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 Tunapotoa ukoma katika maisha yetu. Tuta wa Mungu siku ya leo ondoa ukoma. Ondoa ukoma. Ondoa dhambi. Ambazo zinasababisha usimuone Mwenyezi Mungu. Kwa sababu unapoondoa ukoma huu utamuona mtakatifu. You'll see him holy. Utamuona utakatifu. Hello? You'll see him holy. Utamuona akiwa mtakatifu. And you know what? Na unajua. The moment Isaiah connected, wakati Isaiah alijiunga, if you miss part 1, please go back to part 1. Kabogo na sehemu ya kwanza ukaione. Mwanadamu aliumbwa kwa mfano na sura yake ya Mungu. So when the leprosy was removed. Na ukoma ulipotolewa. Isaiah so holy, holy. Isaiah aliona mtakatifu, mtakatifu, mtakatifu. Ndiye Mungu Bwana wa majeshi. Hello? Hello. 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 And you know what? Na unajua? The moment you come back to your nature. Wakati unaporejelea asili yako ya utakatifu. Then the Lord will start revealing to you. Mungu ataanza kukudhihirishia. Areas of sin. Maeneo ya maisha yako yenye dhambi. Isaiah alisema kwamba mimi ni mtu mwenye mdomo ambao umenajisi. How comes he didn't know that before? Mbona hakujua kuhusu jambo hili? Hadi alipopata ufunuo of the unique nature of God. Wa hali ya kipekee yake Mwenyezi Mungu. Ambaye Mungu amemuumba. Anasema ukawe mtakatifu kwa ajili mimi ni mtakatifu. Katika asili yake amekufanya mtakatifu ndani ya Kristo Yesu. Alikutakasa. Praise the Lord. Bwana sifiwe. Hallelujah. He has made you. Amekufanya. And that's what he realized. I am a man of what? Ndipo alipo kugundua kwamba kinywa chake kimenajisi. Watu wa Mungu wakati kuna ukoma kwa maisha yako hautaona Yesu. Na pia hata hutajua zile dhambi uko nazo. No wonder unafanya dhambi na ujua unafanya dhambi. Unafanya dhambi na auoni nguvu ya Mungu. You know God is holy. And he said I am a man of unclean lips. Mimi ni mtu mwenye mdomo ambao umenajisi. He realized. His eyes were opened. God today wants to open your eyes. Mungu siku leo angependa kufumbua macho yako. Get the revelation of your nature. Pata ufunuo wa asili ya. You are made holy. Uliumbwa mtakatifu. In his image and likeness of holiness. Katika sura na mfano yake ya utakatifu. And in Christ Jesus. Na ndani ya Kristo Yesu. You are sanctified. Umetakaswa. Made whole. Umefanywa mzima. Praise the Lord. Bwana sifiwe. He has made you whole. 
amekufanya mzima naomba kwa hapa mistari miwili tuisome kitabu cha waibrania 10 10 tuisome kitabu cha waibrania 10 hadi 20 hadi 14 let's read together please read it i want you to see it that by that will we have been through what through the offering of what of the body of jesus christ where what once and for all and every priest stands minister in daily offering offering repeatedly and the same sacrifices which can never take away your sins verse 12 but this man who this man after he offered one sacrifice for sins forever sat down at the right hand of god verse 13 from that time waiting till his enemies are made his foot to look at verse 14 by one word by one offering he has done what perfected hallelujah, hallelujah. by one offering he, he has done what he has perfected amekufanya kukamilika perfected forever those who are being sanctified hallelujah hallelujah he has perfected you amekufanya ukuwe mkamilifu he has made you whole amekukamilisha You are sanctified. Umetakaswa. Brought to the place of your original nature with him. Umefikishwa mahali maalum pa asili ya kiungo. No, no, even when you sin. Ndipo hata sasa unapofanya dhambi. You are able to know that this is. Unajua kwamba hii ni dhambi. Praise the Lord. Bwana sifiwe. What we are Christo, but they do things and they don't even see it. Praise the Lord. Bwana sifiwe. Now hear me today. Good secret today. Huu ni msimu mwema. One of the secrets of living holy. Siri moja kuishi kwa utakatifu. But two I talked about conscience. Do I want to talk about? Sema pili niliongea kuhusu dhamiri. Na pili kwamba ni wewe kukua katika akili zako timamu. Last week about conscience of C O N S C I E N S C E. Tulisoma C O N S C I O U S. Sikio leo tunasema kuwa katika mawazo yako timamu. Of you being able to live holy. Moja hapo ya siri zako za kuishi kwa utakatifu. conscience of what of holiness niweze kupata fahamu kuhusu utakatifu and the only way na njia ya kipekee that you will become conscious of your of holiness ambayo unapata fahamu kwa kuwa mtakatifu is by you taking back your original identity in Christ ni kwako wewe kuchukua nafasi yako maalum katika Kristo hallelujah hallelujah you do what unafanya nini unachukua your original nafasi yako maalum ndani ya Kristo. Je, mkitambulisho chako ni kipi ndani ya Kristo? First Peter 2:9 says what? Ukiwa... You have been made holy. Maandiko yanasema umefanywa kuwa mtakatifu. You have been chosen. Umechaguliwa. You have been called. Umeitwa. You have been forgiven. Umesamehewa. Hello. Hello. So now you become a light of holiness. Sasa umekuwa mwangaza wa utakatifu. By getting back to your identity. Kwa sababu ya kurejelea utambulisho wako. You have been made holy. Kutambulisho kwako ni kwamba umefanywa kuwa mzima. Hello? Hello. Your identity is what? You have been called. Um, kwamba umeitwa. You have been chosen. Umechaguliwa. And you have been forgiven. Na umesamehewa. Hallelujah. Not says for now there is no more ndipo sana anasema sasa hakuna kulaniwa tena kwa wale ambao wako ndani ya Kristo Yesu Haleluya Haleluya You are sick to living holy Mwambie jirani yako nafasi ya kuishi kwa utakatifu Inakuwa ni kitendo cha utakatifu kwa kurejelea kutambulishwa kwako maalum Bwana sifiwe Na je kutambulishwa kwako ni kupi Kwanza wewe ni mtakatifu umechaguliwa you are called umeitwa you are forgiven na umesamehewa haleluya haleluya so today don't leave this church feeling condemned no siku ile usitoke kanisani ukisi kulaaniwa anasema kwamba nimekuita i have chosen you nimekuchagua i have made you holy nimekufanya uwe mtakatifu na pia nimekusamehe asema bwana that is your identity hicho ndicho kitambulisho chako you will start realizing sin utaanza kugundua dhambi. Jinsi Isaia aligundua kwamba nina mdomo na jisi. Nina njia ambazo zimenajisika. I'm told that we are in a dispensation whereby married married Christian Christian 
families nyakati zetu ni kwamba familia za kikristo watu walioana wanakaa pamoja kutazama ngono na ni watu ambao wameokoka that is not your identity hicho sio kitambulisho chako that is the identity of the world hicho ni kitambulisho cha kidunia so hear me today naomba ukanisikie siku ya leo pale ambapo vitu hivyo vipo endo ka vitupe go back today home and burn them siku ya leo uende nyumbani na uvitupe you are watching them the two of you kama mnazitizama kwa pamoja but your children lakini watoto wenu think that they are foolish mnadhania kwamba ni wapumbavu they will go and find them also wataenda wazipate pia so you are bringing demons to your children and they will take out to wenu mapepo katika umri wao throw them away tupa Naomba kuambia watu wa Mungu kwamba hii ni kanisa ya kiunabii. Tunasema kile ambacho Mungu anataka kusema. Wakati wangu wa kufundisha mafanikio nitafunza mafanikio. Sasa Mungu anasema tufunze utakatifu. Hizo vitu leo zitupwe. Ambia neba zitupwe. Zitupwe. Because your nature is what? Kwa sababu asili yako ni nini? Wewe ni mtakatifu. You are God. Wewe umeitwa. You are chosen. Umechaguliwa. You are forgiven. Umesamehewa. That's your nature. That's your identity. Hiyo ndio asili yako, hicho ndicho kitambulisho chako. Praise the Lord. Bwana sifiwe. So that you can start realizing some things in your life. kugundua mambo mengine katika maisha yako. You start seeing areas of your life where things need to change. kuona maeneo ya maisha yako ambayo yanahitaji kubadilika. Bwana sifiwe sana. Kwa sababu ukweli utawakomboeni. You know it. Utaujua. And it sets you free. Na utawaweka huru. Praise the Lord. Bwana sifiwe. So we become alert or conscious of what? Tunakuwa wangalifu na wenye fahamu kuhusu utakatifu. Kwa kufanya nini? Going back to the roots of our identity. Kurejelea mizizi ya kutambulisho kwetu. That is your holy. Kwamba wewe ni mtakatifu. You are called. Wewe una mwito. You are chosen. Umechaguliwa. And you are forgiven. Na umesamehewa. So don't go here condemned. Usitoke mahali hapo kihisi kulaaniwa. Praise the Lord. Bwana sifiwe. Praise the Lord. Bwana sifiwe. Now, the other thing, jambo lingine. And by the way, for us for you to be a lot of of holiness tunapaswa kuwa angalifu kuhusu utakatifu. You know what, you know, you know the trigger? Je, unajua kile kinachosababisha? For you to be a lot of holiness? Ili uweze uwe mwangalifu kwa utakatifu? Is that you must continuously meditate on the word of God. Ni kwamba unapaswa kufikiria kuhusu neno lake Mwenyezi Mungu. The more you meditate on the word of God, unapozidi kutafakari neno lake Mwenyezi Mungu. The more you become alert. Unazidi kuwa na uangalifu of holiness kuhusu utakatifu. And the more you get back to your place of your identity. Unapozidi kurejelea kitambulisho chako. Praise the Lord. Bwana sifiwe. Now number two. For us to be able to walk and live holy. Ili tuweze kutembea na kuishi kwa utakatifu. We must recognize the Holy Spirit. Lazima tumtambue Roho Mtakatifu. Praise the Lord. Bwana sifiwe. We must recognize the Holy Spirit. Tunapaswa kumtambua Roho Mtakatifu. We must recognize the Holy Spirit. Napaswa kumtambua Roho Mtakatifu. Now, what did you say in in Ephesians 1:13? Tulisema nini kuhusu kitabu cha Efeso 1:13? That you are what? You are sealed. Ya kwamba wewe umewekwa muhuri. But the uh the Zavasa tells us that know ye that your body is not the temple of is is the temple of the Holy Spirit. And then he says what? That be, your body being the temple of the Holy Spirit. You are not your own. Before you do anything with your body. Kabla ufanye jambo lolote na mwili wako. Muulize mwenyewe. What do you want this body to do today? Je, unataka mwili huu ufanye kazi ipi siku ya leo? Praise the Lord. Bwana sifiwe. Ask who? Ukamuulize nani? Says, you are not your own. Anasema wewe haujimiliki. Hallelujah. You are not your own. Know ye that your body is a temple of the of the Holy Spirit. Who is where? The moment you receive Christ Jesus, unapompokea Kristo Yesu, 
in your spirit. Anakuja na mhuri katika roho yako. And says what? Anasema vipi? Whom you have from God. Uliye naye kutoka kwake Mungu. And then you are not your own. I mean neighbor, you are not your own. Mwambie jirani wewe haujimiliki. So before you do anything with your body, ask the Kabla ufanye lolote na mwili wako, muulize mwenyewe. What do you want this body to do today? Je, unataka mwili huu ufanye nini siku ya leo? No one says put on Jesus and give no provision to the flesh. Vaa vazi la Kristo na usiupe mwili nafasi yoyote. Hallelujah. Because when you put on Jesus, kwa sababu unapovalia vazi la Kristo, the Holy Spirit comes as a seal upon you. Mtakatifu anakuja kama mhuri juu yako. And now you know kisho you are not your own. kwamba wewe haujimiliki. God owns you. Mwili Mungu anaumiliki anaumiliki mwili wako. So whatever you do, chochote unachokifanya must be sanctioned by God himself. Lazima kiwe kimepitishwa naye Mwenyezi Mungu. Is the Lord. Bwana sifiwe. Sasa useme ti nilisikia tu kama mwili kana kananiambia tu nieni nieni nikatembeleke. Nikatembeleke njoki wewe 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 sio mwili nilikuambia wende utembee. Hiyo umeambiwa put on the Lord Jesus Christ. Vaa vazi la Kristo. Okay, put on Jesus. Unapomvalia Kristo. Basi hakuna nafasi ya tamaa za kimwili. So ukisikia karoka na kumbia tembea tu kwa kwa njoki. Enda tu huko eh ile huko huko hapo kwa Fred ingia tu ingia tu ingia tu. Eh ingia. Hiyo ni shetani anakuambia. Sema amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Bwana sifiwe. Hiyo ni shetani kama Eve. Did God say Je, Mungu you know, alisema in Genesis 3:5. Katika kitabu cha Mwanzo 3 mstari wa 5. Look at look, look at what the devil told told, told Eve. Angalia kile ambacho ibilisi alimwambia Eve. Yes, here. For God knows that in the day you eat of it, your eyes will be opened and you will be what? You will be like God. You will be like what? Like God. Mtakuwa kama Mungu. That's what the devil tells you. Hey, Hivyo ndivyo ibilisi anakuambia. Ingia tu, eh, kwa friend, ingia tu, ingia tu. Be neighbor, neighbor. Mbie jirani jirani. That body is not yours. Mwili huo sio wako. It belongs to God. Unamilikiwa naye Mwenyezi Mungu. So if you want to live holy, kama unataka kuishi kwa utakatifu, unapaswa kumtambua Roho Mtakatifu. And you know what he will do? Na unapaswa kufanya nini? He will nini? empower you. Atakupa uwezo wa kuishi kwa utakatifu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He will guide you. Atakuongoza. To live holy. Ili uweze kuishi kwa utakatifu. Kajama kana kupangia mabaya akupati anakupangia hivi hiyo siku wewe wewe unafungwa na omba hata mazima simu zako umezima hiyo siku amepanga akupigie akupeleke outing ati ndio akupicheze na akili hiyo siku Mungu Mungu amekwambia holy ghost amia yeye ingia kwa maombi wewe umeingia kwa maombi umezima simu the whole day sema amekutafuta akupati why the holy ghost will empower you roho mtakatifu atakupa uwezo na atakuongoza ili uweze kuishi kwa utakatifu hallelujah hallelujah You felt like you wanted to pray? Umehisi kwamba unahitaji kuomba? You went to pray and fasting? Na ukaingia katika kufunga na kuomba. Na simiona Is the Lord. Bwana sifiwe. Now, the other thing that you must do to be able to live holy. Jambo lingine ambalo unapaswa kufanya. Now, we must be make we must make intentional choices. Lazima tufanye maamuzi ambayo ni ya muda mrefu. We must make intentional choices. Lazima tufanye maamuzi ambayo ni ya kusudi. Praise the Lord. Now, hear me carefully. Naomba unisikize kwa makini. Unisikize kwa makini. The Holy Spirit Roho Mtakatifu will empower you atakupa uwezo will guide you na atakuongoza But you are given the freedom lakini umepewa uhuru to make choices wa kufanya maamuzi Hear me carefully Who will make the choice Nani atakayefanya uamuzi huu Who will make the choice Nani atakayekufanyia maamuzi haya The Holy Spirit will guide you Roho Mtakatifu atakupa uwezo atakupa uwezo But you have the freedom lakini uko na uhuru wa kufanya maamuzi. 
praise the Lord. So, hata wakati umeenda kwa huyo nani? Mnaambia nani? Kabenten. Hata wakati umeenda kwa Benten, you choose you the choice you made. Ilikuwa chaguo lako binafsi. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. The Holy Spirit will do what? Roho Mtakatifu atakupa uwezo. Atakuongoza. But you have the freedom to Lakini do what? uhuru wa kufanya to nini? Make the choice. Wa kufanya uamuzi huu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So be intentional in your choices. Ukue na, uku, na, na makusudi ya kufanya maamuzi yako. Ukisema no, no. Ukisema la ni la. Haya, si ni kweli? Sasa uja maji aokoka. Na nakwambia niaje sikasika si stage. Niaje. Nataka nikuoe. Wewe kimbia kwanza. Awe, you cannot save somebody. Huwezi kumokoa mtu yote. I, I will just allow him just we get married. Unasema nitamruhusu tuoane. And then I will be praying for him. Kisha nitakuwa nikimwombea. Get born again. Ili aze kuokoka. Na tu. Utaomba miaka 50. 50. 50. Na sasa una unaomba tu oh Mungu wangu. Utaomba tu. Let me tell you, only God can save. Ni Mungu tu anayeweza kuokoa. So make intentional choices. Ufanye maamuzi yenye makusudi. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe sana. Amen. Make what? Ufanye maamuzi so ya makusudi. You, will guide you. Roho Mtakatifu atakupa uwezo na kuongoza. Lakini utapewa uhuru wa kufanya ni wa kufanya maamuzi yako. Bwana asifiwe sana. Amen. So kama leo akili kwenda kuambia ukitoka hapa kanisani uende upitie kule ugonge kamoja ni mleta nini ni tot. Inaitwa nini tot. Sasa leo make a choice no more no more tot. Fanya uamuzi ya kwamba hakuna. Haya. Upande unjua kuna wakristo wameokoka na wanatuanga wanga pombe kabisa. Unajua hiyo? Haya. Hao wako hapa sio? Ameni ba hao wako hapa. Ameni ba hao wako hapa. Hao hao wako hapa. Jamaa ameokoka lakini anatuanga mzibaya sana. Alafu naye bibi ama 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 inaweza kuwa ni bibi ama 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 ni bwana. Alafu unapata sasa kwa sababu wanataka kukua wameokoka sasa basi sana allow me to use you sasa tuseme mimi mimi natuanga kabisa na wewe unanipenda you want to keep my image as a man of god ndio unanyamaza tu if it is sin say it as what a sin kama ni dhambi ukaiseme kama dhambi praise the lord bwana asifiwe because you are making a deliberate kwa sababu Choice. unafanya maamuzi yenye makusudi. I will not drink. Mimi sitakunywa pombe. I will pombe. not sin against God. Sitafanya dhambi kinyume naye Mwenyezi Mungu. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. You making what a deliberate? Unaishi, Choice. Unafanya maamuzi yenye makusudi. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sasa mbona jamaa ameokoka? Kini kwa nyumba ya Yesu lakini wanatuanga Ambia neba neba neba. Mwambie jirani jirani. Kama wewe unatuanganga mmoja mbili. Kama unatuanga mmoja mbili, naye. achana naye. Praise the Lord. Si tusaidiane leo. Eh, hey, tusaidiane. Hallelujah. Jo ukuja kanisani you are sober. Unapata baada kwa kwanza musicians, wapi musicians? Wapi my musicians mko wapi? Hebu sima mendi. Today I want to speak to musicians. Praise the Lord. Hebu tuambie magofu hizo hawa mama wa musicians. Hawa ndio wana muziki wetu. Hata kuna mwingine hapa. Let me tell you. It is possible hata hata watu wa sound. Nyi pia mko hapa bado. Let me tell you something. It is possible to come and serve God here. Unaweza kuja kumtumikia Mungu mahali hapa. Na you are feeling seriously. Lakini bado unafanya dhambi kwa ubaya. Judge. Badilika. Lazima ufanye maamuzi. It's not about what you're offering to God. Sio kuhusu kile ambacho unampa Mwenyezi Mungu. Kile ambacho tunajali sana ni nafsi yako ifike mbinguni. No wonder nothing is moving. Ndipo saa hakuna chochote kinachosonga mbele. Unasema mtumishi wa Mungu. Naomba ukuniombea. I want this to come in. Ninataka hili lifanyike. Mimi ninapomba Mungu ananiambia dhambi ndio inafanya hii mambo iendelee. Waachana nayo. No wonder those are looking. Ndipo saa milango inafungwa. You know let me tell you when God told me to 
Wakati Mungu aliniambia nifunze kuhusu utakatifu ni kwa sababu kuna kile ambacho niliona katika ulimwengu wa kiroho nilipokuwa nikiomba na nikamwambia pasta Anne ya kwamba mwezi huu nitafundisha kuhusu utakatifu Praise the Lord Bwana asifiwe Bwana asifiwe sana So tuongoke kila kitu kama wewe ni musician anaokoka mara ya pili Haleluya Kama umeolewa ukoka vizuri Kama wewe ni single usitembee kama single Hata kama itafika 40 Yesu atakuja Bwana asifiwe sana atakuja Amen So that when we call on Jesus in his house Ili tunapomuita Yesu katika nyumba yake uwepo wake unashuka Nguvu zake zinashuka Praise the Lord Bwana asifiwe Let me tell you, gospel, you not hear it many places. Lakini hapa, Injili hii hautaisikia mahali pengi, lakini mahali hapa tutafundisha utakatifu. But with love. Lakini kukuwa upendo. We don't condemn you. Hatutakulaani. Hakuna kukondem, but tutakufunza neno. Tutunakupenda sana. Praise the Lord. Now, the next thing that you must do. Jambo la pili. Unalopaswa kulifanya ili kuishi kwa utakatifu. You must Run the race. Lazima ukimbie. But with endurance. Kwa kuvumilia. Run the race. Ukimbie. But with endurance. Kwa uvu, kwa kuvumilia. Focusing on Jesus. Ukiwa unamtazamia Kristo. Hapa 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 nataka kuongea leo. Cuz this this way now. Now hapa ndio mali watu ambao wanapenda Yesu wananguka sasa hapa. So listen carefully. You must do what? You must run the race. Lazima ukimbie shindano lako. But with endurance kwa kuvumilia ukiwa unamtazamia na Yesu ambaye ni nini ambaye ni anayekamilisha imani yetu naomba unisikize hapa kwa makini wapi wala watu ambao wanapenda Yesu sana wapi wala watu ambao wanapenda Yesu kabisa tunapenda Yesu have you noticed that saa zingine unapata maisha imekupeleka mbio mpaka unasikia tu ni kama tu ukompromise tu kidogo ndio angalau usaidike how many have ever felt that in their lives tuseme ukweli si ndio Yaani unapenda Yesu na hata umeokoka lakini maisha imekutandika. Baka you don't even know what to do. So you feel can I just compromise kidogo tu? Hata kama ni kuiba tu, niibe tu kidogo tu. Mungu ndo Mungu utaelewa. We are told what? Run the Nambiwa, race. Ukimbie. Actually this the verse is in Hebrews Hebrews 12. Tuangalie kitabu cha Hebrews 12. Hapa nataka hapa ndo wale wa Kristo wanapenda Yesu hapa ndo mali tunatunanguka sasa Mungu anatuambia if you want to live holy you walk run this race okay but with what and you are runs are we there Hebrews 11 should be verse 1 no 12 Hebrews 12 verse 1 Oi Ibrania 12 mstari wa kwanza Run the race Kimbia shindano lako But with what With endurance kwa as you do it you focus on Jesus unapomtazamia Yesu yani kuvumilia sasa let me tell you of God ukitaka kutembea holy lazima ukue mtu akuvumilia hapo ndio hapa soma hii soma sasa therefore we also since we are what surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses let us lay aside every weight lay what yani eka kando every hapa ndo mali tunasumbuka sana sio kuna matabu mingi watoto waona chakula mzee ameepa maenda umwacha peke yako jana nakwambia wewe wewe kuja wewe nipatieni mimi nataka alafu mimi nitako nitakusote alafu unakaa na shule sasa Mungu Mungu jua watoto wangu watalala njaa wewe we have been told what lay aside every weight tunaambiwa tutoe and sin which does what which so easily ensnares us then let, let us do what let us run the what let us run with what and you are us the race that is set before us to humiliate but we are focusing to verse 2 mtazamo wetu uko wapi looking unto jesus the author the finisher of our faith who for the joy was set before him endured the cross despising the shame He sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Hmm. Hapa ndio wa Kristo ambao wanapenda Yesu, hapa ndio mahali tunaumia. Si ni kweli watu wa Mungu. Unapenda Mungu lakini unateseka. Sasa so, unashindwa Mungu. Ni since you ni compromise tu kidogo tu, kidogo tu ni angalau nipate kazi. Ah 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 ah. 
We are told what? Run the race with what? With endurance. But focus on who? Focus on Jesus. What is Susanna? Yani umeka, msala umeka for the four years. Asa naona, siwaza tu niende ni kue second wife. Sindio? Ni kue nini? Second wife wa jamamu? Jama. Ndiyo angalau ni ipate watoto mapema. Wewe. Kwani who gives God? Children. Nani ya nae wapeana watoto? Sara, what age? Ninety. Na wewe uko ngapi? Uwefika ninety. We are told, run the rest. Tunambiwa ukimbie shina nolako kwa uvumilivu. But focus into who? Mtazamu wako kiwa wape. Wa kristo wala umekoma, hapa ndiyo tabu. Uleza kwata usubuki na mamba ya dhambi, lakini maisha imekugo? Imekugonga. Imekugonga. Kama huu mze, nime muombea abadiliki. Huu mze, nime muombea. Huu bibi nime muombea abadiliki. Hata mimi sasa nitaenda. Hata mimi nitaenda niende. Kama taksi yata hepa enda inje. Mimi nitaenda. Wewe, you are told what? Run the race with endurance. Kimbia shindano lako kwa uvumilivu. Mtazamo wako kiwa kwa ke yesu. At revenge. Kulipiza kisasi. Sasa basana. At mimi nikifanya hii. Wepia unafanya hii. At revenge. Wewe. That's not the order of God. Huo siya utaratibu wake mwenye zimu. Hapu kulizo nasema. Lakini sunajua. Hata wewe pia uli. Ha 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 Hivyo ndivyo hawa alivyo fanya wakiwa na Adam. No, they, they, they were thrown away. Even Adam, walifukuzo. they forgot that they were in the nature of God. Walisahau walikuwa katika asili yake mwenyezi mungu. Praise the Lord. Bwana sifiri. Finally. Nikikamilisha. Because I can see time is not on my side. Sababu muda umeyoyoma. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Finally. Ninapo tamatisha. Live worthy of the calling. Uishi sawa na muito ulio nao. Live worthy. Worthy of the calling. Wishi sawa na mwito ulio nao. Praise the Lord. Bwana sifiri. Live. Wishi. Worthy. Katika thamana. Of the calling. Ya mwito ulio nao. What was one of our identity? Nini ilikuwa sehemu ya mwito wako? One of our identity was what? Moja hapo wa kutambulisho kochi ilikuwa nini? Utakatifu. Chosen. Kuchaguliwa. Called. Kuitwa. Forgiven. Na kusamehewa. Now he's saying this. Na ilikuwa alisema hivi pia. What worthy. Utembe kwa thamani. Of the calling. Ya mwito wako. Let's look at. 1 Peter 2 and we can read verse 11 and 12. 1 Peter 2 Petro Kwanza Mbili Live what you have the calling. Ishi kwa thamani ya mwito wako. Kama wewe mungu wame kuita na wewe ni what do you call this priest the priest who don't marry. What do you call them? Celibates. Kama wewe mwito kuwa celibates then live what you have what? Celibacy. Kama umuhitu wa kuhishi kwa upweke. Na kama wama umuhitu wa uolewe. Uhishi kwa damani hii. Uhishi kama mutu ambaye amefanya nini? Hameolewa. Hane wama umeolewa. Kuna vijana wadogo wadogo wadogo. Vijana wadogo wadogo. Unaribu vijana wadogo wadogo. Iyo tabia ishindu in Jesus name. We have been told what? Ah, here I like it. Let's read together. Tusome kwa pa maoja. Beloved, I beg you as what? And sojourners and pilgrims abstain from what? Which was verse 12 having having what? Your conduct honorable among the Gentiles that when they speak against you as evildoers they may by your good works which they observe glorify God in the day Never, 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 never. Live worthy of your calling. Who is an interpreter? Who is an interpreter? So, interpreter lives worthy of the interpreter? I am a preacher. I need to live worthy of the calling that is given to me. Praise the Lord. Now, see, I am a preacher. 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 Na kutana na mshulika pale kwa ba Hey, pasta, ugo hapa No We must live worthy of what? Of the calling Kuhishi kwa thamani ya mwito wako Praise the Lord Buwana sifiri Na pata yasa nukwambie Hata wakati umeda kujificha Uende maali huko Utapata kuna mutu Ebongo, end of us Hebrews 1 Let me show you Let me show you You know today 12, 12, 1 
Let me show you something. 12 1, 12 1. Since we are what? Surrounded by so great a cloud. Never, never, never. Leave what you have the calling. God has witnesses. Leave what you have your calling. Ishi kwa dhamana ya mwito wako. God has witnesses. Mungu wako na mashahidi. Iyo siku umeta, umeta, umeta futa kandito. Umeweka kwa gari yako. Gari na kwa barabara. Taya inapasuka tatu. Sio moja. Davidi mtoka inje. Wewe unatoka hivi? Na yeye anatoka ndio ndio mzigongwe. Alafu kwa basi basi nakuja kuna mshirika na anaona. Pasta! Who is that pasta? Aya. For those people who know me. Mimi mara mara mingi I don't like carrying ladies in my car. If I carry a lady and a car nyuma. Sipendi kuwabeba wanadada katika gari langu na nikiwabeba wanakaa. Unakaa wapi? Sasa wewe unakuja but then, Today, let me let me teach us some manners. Sio kama kutufunza nidhamu. Wewe hata kama unapatiwa lift. Wewe unataka kukaa hapa mbele kama nani? Wewe umekaa? Wewe umevaa hizo vitu zako fani fani. Unakaa? Wewe una una No na mimi nakukula ndio kwa bwana asifiwe sana. Amen. Tuonane. I can see you. you know. Naangalia vile iko ai ai sasa gari ende kwa pale pum slafu wende huko hapo hiyo natoka kako hivi na leo pasta gari napita pale eh bwana bwana asifiwe here carefully since we are surrounded by what by so great a cloud of witnesses god has witnesses mungu wako na mashahidi so whatever you do in secret kile unachokifanya gizani god has people to witness mungu wako na watu wa kushuhudia ambaye neba neba tuokoke mara ya pili Mwambie jirani jirani tuokoke mara ya pili. Haleluya. 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 Live what? Uishi kwa dhamana ya mwito ulio nao. Mimi niliambia but eh it's not like I don't, I don't know how to hug people I know how to hug lakini mimi I don't just hug people. Sio kwa sababu tu siji kukumbatia lakini sikumbatie mtu yeyote. Sasa wewe wewe unaona una hugi kila mtu. Hey come come Bwana shirani na kupata tu. Praise the Lord. Bwana sifiwe. Live what? Uishi kwa dhamana ya mwito ulio nao. Amen. Amina. So you are born again. Live what? Or you are coming out. Uishi kwa dhamana ya mwito wako wa wokovu. I want to finish here. Praise the Lord. Ningependa kutamatishia mahali hapa. Amen. Amina. I want to finish here. Ningependa kukamilisha. There's a hymn that says just as I am. Kuna wimbo ambao unaitwa Kama jinsi nilivyo. I want you to come to God the way you are. Ningependa umjie Mwenyezi Mungu jinsi ulivyo. You are not condemned. Uhujalaniwa. You are loved. Umependwa. But Jesus is saying this today. Lakini Mungu anasema hivi siku ya leo. Holiness. Utakatifu. Is what I want from you. Ndio kile ambacho ninakitaka kutoka kwako. So kwa just kwa. as you are kivyo basi jinsi ulivyo jinsi ulivyo Christ is saying come Kristo anasema njo come njo come to njo kwangu Hear me today carefully Naomba unisikie kwa makini siku ya leo Wacha utakatifu be the root uwe mzizi of your life wa maisha yako Amen Amina Ipenye chini kabisa mpaka mizizi yako ikuwe ni holiness ile matunda utatoa itakuwa matunda matunda gani matunda ambayo ina nipo nipo pocho pocho ni wacha watu wapo waswahili iko mingi ni inaitwa nini po waswahili pocho pocho so is it pocho pocho iko oh kocho kocho so listen carefully when holiness is your root amen it is what when it is your your root Suna root miti inaingia ndani na kunywa maji mzuri inakula nutrients mzuri ikianza kuzaa inazaa matunda kocho kocho Praise the Lord That's what Christ wants out of you today 
that you will give out fruits because your foundation kwa sababu msingi wako ni utakatifu your original nature with god asili yako ndani ya mungu praise the lord bwana sifiwe leo kuna watu wamenyamaza leo kuna watu nimezaa kuona kusikia kusema amen ndugu dada usijali that is what god wants amen Enjasa saya Let's rise up Mbe bwana ninajua mambo yanayonisumbua. You know Lord my issue is the drink. Unajua shida yangu ni kwamba nina shida ya kunywa. Lord you know my issue is sexuality. Na shida yangu ni kushiriki usherati. Lord you know my issue is my mouth. Unajua kwanza shida yangu ni kinywa changu. Lord you know my issue is anger. Bwana shida yangu ni ghadhabu. Lord you know Lord you know. Bwana unajua unajua. I want you to come to him. Tell him Jesus make me whole. Mwambie Yesu nifanye kuwa mtakatifu. I am coming back to my identity. Ninarejelea kitambulisho changu. Ninarejelea kutambulishwa kwangu. Inua sauti yako kwake Mungu. Inua sauti yako na umuite Mwenyezi Mungu. Mwambie Bwana nibadilishe. Mwambie Bwana unajua majaribu yangu. Unajua maeneo ya dhambi. Ambayo yamekuwa yakinitega katika maisha yangu. Lakini Bwana neno lako linasema ya kwamba nisiku ili nisiweze kutegwa. Na kwamba sitategwa na dhambi. Bwana Yesu. Nifanye niwe mzima. Sote wa Mungu inua sauti yako. Utubu, tubu, 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 tubu. Tubu, tubu, tubu. Sikize kwa makini one, one great mark One great mark One great mark Alama moja rasmi Of a man or a woman Ya mtu mume au mke Who walks in holiness Ambaya anatembea kwa utakatifu Is the abundance of peace and love Ni wingi wa amani na upendo Praise the Lord Amen One of the great marks. Moja wapo ya alama kubwa. Of a man or a woman. Za mume au mke. Who walks holy with God. Ambaye anatembea kwa utakatifu naye Mwenyezi Mungu. The abundance Mungu. of peace and love. Ni wingi wa upendo na amani. 
you can't be holy huwezi kuwa mtakatifu and not be a man of a woman of peace na ukose kuwa mtu wa amani you can't be holy huwezi kuwa mtakatifu and not be a man or a woman of love na ukose kuwa mtu wa upendo if you have time you can read that in in, in, in the book of colossians 3 kama uko na muda wende usome kitabu cha kolosai 3:14 na mikono yako nataka kukuombea bwana katika jina la yesu naomba watu wako bwana father bwana may you go upon your children basi ukazidi juu ya maisha ya watoto wako uwaguze Lord I know that God many people struggle with many things. Bwana ninajua wengi wanasumbuka na mambo mengi. Some are struggling with their sexuality. Wengine wanasumbuka na hali yao ya ujinsia. Some are struggling mighty God with alcohol. Wengine wanasumbuka na mvinyo. Some are struggling oh mighty God with the, the lust of the flesh. Wengine wanasumbuka na tamaa za kimwili. Others are struggling with with the, with pride the, 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 the pride of life. Wengine wanasumbuka na kiburi cha maisha. Others are struggling with the lust of the eye. Wengine wanasumbuka na tamaa ya macho. Lord, I pray. Bwana naomba siku ya leo. Wa hurumia watoto wa Ya kwamba mwezi huu wa utakatifu maisha yetu yanabadilishwa kwa sababu ya ukweli wa neno lako kufanywa kwa msingi wa dhamiri yetu kutupa uwezo kufanya uamuzi ambao ni sawa katika jina kuu la Yesu ninaomba kila mume na mke amani sikia sauti yangu waguze uwajaze uongezeke ndani yao na uwaguze kwa njia ya kipekee. Uwabadilishe. Kila eneo la masumbuko siku ya leo. Hiyo sio sehemu yao. Hiyo sio sehemu yao. Wao ni wazima. Ni wazima. Ni wazima. Katika jina kuu la Yesu. Lord Jesus. Bwana Yesu. Even those secrets. Hata siri hizo. That have been hidden for too long. Ambazo zimefichwa kwa muda mrefu. Kwa wahurumie. Father have mercy upon your people Lord. Wahurumie watoto wako. We repent before you as a church. Tunatubu mbele zako kama kanisa. We repent before you as individuals. Tunatubu mbele zako kama watu binafsi. Lord we stand in the gap even for our families. Tunasimama kwenye mianya juu ya familia zetu. Lord we have seen us and engraved our families. Pale ambapo dhambi imezingira familia zetu. Pale ambapo dhambi imezingira ndoa zetu. Pale ambapo imezingira maisha yetu ya ubinafsi. Tunatubu mbele zako kama kanisa. Tunakujia Yehova. Na tunauliza Yehova. Neno lako linasema kwamba wewe ni mtakatifu na umetufanya watakatifu. Bwana tunasimama siku ya leo. Tuna Tunachukua kitambulisho chetu cha awali, tunachukua asili yetu ya utakatifu. Tunaomba. Tunavalia vazi la Kristo. Na tuatuachi nafasi yoyote ya tamaa zote za kimwili na aina yoyote ya tamaa. Sisi kama kanisa, sisi kama familia, kama watu binafsi. Tunakurejelea Bwana Yesu Kristo. Utubadilishe. Tufanye wazima. Katika jina la Yesu. Sema amina.